Juke Industries here, and today we I, we have a treat. A customer bought a gift for her husband, and she got him a brand new sealed, new 3DS XL, the SNES edition. So she mailed it to me, because I do mail in modifi modifications and services, repairs, a whole bunch of other stuff. And so uh, I get to unbox it for her, and which is crazy to me, because normally people, uh, they'll mail me their consoles, but they don't mail it to me sealed in the box. They open it up themselves, and then... They send it to me afterwards, but this is going to be a treat for you and for me to see what this is going to be like. And the box is just in immaculate condition. And look at that. The SNES is just so cool. I love the SNES, new 3DS XL edition, and I love the Super Famicom one too with the colored buttons. That's part of the reason why I've got a, a Pikachu new, 2D, new 3DS XL, because I love those colored buttons. But man, that's just... Let's just do it. Be really careful. I don't want to do anything to this box. Oh man, do I, have to, I, should, I want to be as careful as possible. You know what? I'm going to get my plastic get yeah, desk right here. I'm going to do this to make sure that I do not crease or damage the box in any way. Okay. Hopefully it just slides out on its own because I don't want to, you don't want to force anything, especially when this is somebody else's stuff. You want to make sure that you're as gentle with it as possible. It's not going to let me do it. Let me see. Is there a reason why it won't let me open it up? Oh, okay. I just needed a little bit of a, uh, a tug. Okay. We'll, we'll leave that right there. And check that out. AR cards. You've got the uh, full game, the Mario Kart, unused code, and everything. Super neat. And of course, here is the prize the console. I am going to immediately put this into a case so that way nothing gets touched on it or marred. Oh yeah, that is that is brand new. There is not a mark on the body of this thing. I mean, that was already evident from the box and everything. You can see that it had not been tampered with before. Amazing. I think that looks gorgeous. Of course it's, yeah, it's totally dead. We gotta charge it. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't it be dead? But that looks amazing. I think. Let me let me get my uh, Game Boy Advance over here. I've done a bunch of retro mods with these Game Boy Advances. These th there's these new version three IPS screens that are awesome with the touchscreen sensor by Funny Playing, and so I did a kit to try and replicate these colors. And I'm just looking at the the purples and everything are just on point. I think they did a great job. I think the only thing that would have made this better, um, I think the lens is perfect, is if just like with these buttons here, they did the uh, the white etching for the A and the B. Because so I think that just looks absolutely neat. We're already getting dust marks on there. But yeah, I'm going to put this immediately into a case, put some disposable plastic screen protectors on it. That way they don't, it doesn't get marred at all or get anything that would leave a mark on it. But I think that's gorgeous. What a cool console. Yeah, I need to charge this right away so we can get started. But yeah, if you're interested in uh, sending me a console to have it modified, if you don't want to do it yourself, that is totally fine. People do that with me all the time. They also send it to me repairs. They send to me a whole lot of things. Or you can actually order one of my refurbished consoles. I, actually, I have one over here that I can show you. This is an example of one of my consoles after I've done, after I've finished refurbishing it. So this one right here, it was in really bad shape. Broken screen. Really messed up, joystick was broken, needed a new touch screen, something had lots of body damage to it, something similar to that. And then after the full refurbishment and everything, this is what it looks like. You wouldn't even know. It looks like it's brand new, just like this one, right out of the box. So that takes about six to eight hours to do, by the way. If you re I replace every single individual part on them and I make sure that everything that's used or worn is replaced. And so that takes a lot of time to do that. But anyways, 
enough of that. I'm, I'm just comparing a brand new, a real brand new console versus one of mine. They look very similar, but still, this is just, this is just a really pretty console. A really special treat to be able to unbox something like this in 2023.